If you're moving to a new city like Austin, Texas, understanding what the costs are should be a big part of the equation. I've seen other videos where people are just kind of moseying along, telling you basic information. They're not giving you definitive numbers, so I feel like I just, I had to make this video. According to the 2021 Texas Relocation Report, we have more people moving from California, Florida, Illinois, and Georgia than anywhere. And of course, the neighboring states too. I have people who want to buy a house, but don't yet know that you can actually choose your electric company or that what you're paying in property taxes may offset the savings you think you're getting from not paying a state income tax. And if all this is gibberish to you, let me explain. Three, if this is your first time to my channel, thanks for liking this video. I go by Ian of Austin everywhere on the internet and let's talk real estate. Okay. So in this example on NerdWallet, I chose uh, Chicago, Illinois, which is where I'm from. And then obviously Austin, Texas, which is where I'm at. So I've made this move, right? So now imagine your pre-tax income is, I'm going to do uh, $65,000 a year, right? So to maintain your standard of living after relocating, you're looking at the need, you have to make at least a 50, about $54,000. Um, now there are some caveats to that. So if we look at the housing costs, so, and, and I'm going to go over that soon, but if you look at the housing in Chicago, median home price, three bed, two bath is 513. And then an apartment is 2,200 a month. And in Austin, it has it at 1,500 a month and then 350. Now, let me take a step back. A lot of people, when they're looking at this, you can't look at the numbers that are listed for sale. You have to look at what they're closing at. And so I have a, a whole series of videos that talk about that. But overall, if you're saying Austin, you got to realize Chicago is huge. The city of Chicago is as big as Austin and all of its suburbs and then some. So if you're saying you're moving to Austin, you might be wanting to move to Leander or Georgetown or Round Rock because this is more in line with the prices there. And even this is still slightly lower. So be careful with that. And then this also doesn't enca encapsulate HOA fees, property taxes, and some of the other things I had mentioned, insurance, right? Let's look at transportation costs. Gas is pretty cheap in Texas, uh, but if you drive an electric vehicle, maybe that's something to factor into there. Um, you know what's not in transportation costs? Time in traffic. Uh, I have a video on how long it takes to get to each place. So if you have a question on how to do that, you can leave that in the comment or watch that video. Food costs, that's pretty transparent. And then uh, entertainment. So entertainment it's, it's so, sin it's so interesting because like, it's funny, they have yoga class and then they have Heineken. I don't think anybody who lives in Austin drinks Heineken. So, uh, they probably drink local craft beer at $12 or $13 instead. And this one is of course, interesting. It says 7% higher healthcare costs. You're going to have to look at that. It's going to depend on your insurance and your employer. The school thing is interesting because they're just giving ratings from like greatschools.com or org or niche.com and, and uh, the ratings are, you got to be careful with the ratings because they show all sorts of information that may not be important to you in your criteria. So just watch those. Um, but yeah, they don't give a percentage there, but just think about how that can affect your family. If you do have kids, nerd wallet also tells you exactly where your data is coming from. So you can go and recreate it for yourself if you'd like. And they're not just arbitrary numbers that have no meat on the bone. Okay. So if you need to know what your state income tax is, here's how you do it. Let's say you're a W2 employee. Like you have a job that pays you a salary or you make money hourly. You can open up your W2 for last year. And it looks like this. In this example, look at number 17. In Texas, you don't pay that. But let's hold that number for a moment. So now let's take a look at the property tax. Now I'm gonna use a home that's currently active on the market as of the recording of this video. And this is just an example. This house is in the Millwood area of North Austin. It's a four bed, three bathroom, almost 1500 square feet, and it's listed at 475,000. And the property tax rate is about 2.05%. Now, if you were to pay 500,000 for that house, it's likely that your annual property tax will be around 13,000 when it's appraised next year. And if you own a property where you're moving from, figure out what you're paying in property taxes, and then compare that to the number that you'll be paying in Austin. Another set of items that should be taken into the equation are intrinsic quality of life improvements. And I can almost guarantee you've never seen this on another real estate channel. I always argue that people are moving for love or for money. And it's a huge component of why we make the decision to relocate. Austin, Texas pre-pandemic was a fitness capital, a music capital, an art capital. Obvious it's the Texas capital. And we have a large pool of talent from all the colleges and the universities 
and therefore a lot of job opportunities. So how does that affect your quality of life, how you live? I found this calculator from the University of Connecticut that attempts to analyze lifestyle and its quality and your longevity. I find this stuff fascinating because it speaks to the psychology of how much better your life can be should you relocate. So in this example, pretend you're 35 years old, average height, average weight, went to college and make about 60,000 a year. Okay, now, now imagine how your life changes when you move to this new city or how it could change. If the food is higher quality, do you enjoy it more? If you're out more often, do you drink more local craft beer or wine? Do you get to exercise more because it's warmer? If your kids get more attention at school, is the family happier? And do they spend more time together when everyone comes home? And of course, if you want to use any of these calculators, which I want you to do, I link them in the description of this video, which is just under the subscribe button. Listen, re relocating and working with somebody who can help you help facilitate that is... I mean, it can get pretty personal, even if that decision is mainly driven by some kind of data. So I hope you found value in this video. And as a realtor, I get to help a lot of uh, people and clients improve their situation. But I don't just want you to buy a house because I think it's a great way for most people to start building wealth in this country. Understand uprooting your life and resituating is as big of a deal as it seems. And I'd be honored if you choose me to help you on this journey when you're ready.